better tomorrow. Let us praise the children of today. Free them from any cages of sorrow. Be the light that will guide their way. Those are lines from my poem, uh, The Gift of Tomorrow. Since childhood, I've always loved everything related to art. Uh, my favorite subject used to be music. Arriving at home, I would dance and sing along to all these nursery rhymes we learned. Uh, besides music, I also love uh, reading novels. Then my mom bought journals so that I could write my own stories. And that's when my love for writing began. And right now, it's the art that I mostly focus on. Um, as you can already can tell, I am not a scientist, I'm an artist. Uh, whereas scientist is the only thing valuable in, in people's eyes. I mean, at school, some of my teachers were after me for the fact that I, I always failed in subjects like math and science. And even some of my friends looked at me weirdly. Uh, as I grew up, I realized that arts was just considered as an extra activity or, or entertainment. And of course, I agreed. And I was like, yeah, anyways, uh, arts won't bring me anywhere farther. It won't help me get a college degree um, or earn enough you know, salary. Or, you know, people would just think that being an artist as a full time job is ridiculous. But today, going to show why valuing art is essential. Um, would you like to hear the continuation of my story? Okay, come on then. Before I had difficulties accepting my difference with, with my other classmates who were excellent in theoretical subjects, um, though I, I was good in subjects like and English writing. But it is not really a priority for most. Um, but it didn't stop me to write my own poems, uh, short stories, and articles for myself, though. But the turning point of my life started uh, when I was 12 years old. On April 2018, there was a selection of, of young journalists and it required a good English speaker and writer. And with not much confidence in me, I still took the opportunity. And little did I know I was going to be selected as, as, the, as a representative of Madagascar uh, in the Focal for Friendship Children's International Program. And over there, all children from all countries were united as one, and there was no discrimination at all. Each child took part in small steps in changing, in making this world a better place. Um, as from that experience, my artistic journey continues. On the Liver Goals uh, Festival 2018, on the Girl Child's Day, I expressed my opinion on, on gender equality and fairness, and also stood up for the young ladies out there uh, through my article titled, Girls Can Fight for Their Dreams Through Football. As an aspiring journalist, I used writing as a way to express uh, young people's voices and my own voice as well. Therefore, I, I want to help young artists to, help to inspire their generations, stand up for who they are. Together with my fellow young artists, we encourage others and, and each other to use art as a tool to convey that Every child has a voice to take part in shaping this world, no matter their age, gender, nationality, 
race, disabilities, or educational experiences. Um, dear audience, art is not just about simplifying or beautifying everything. It is a very powerful language that can enthrall people, touch their hearts, and call them to action. Young artists are, are the, the key to building a sustainable arts future, so they need to be heard, educated, and supported. To all children and my fellow youngsters out there, we remember that we are the one, our journey is what creates our story. So always persevere to have a happy ending. And keep in your mind that we youths, we are creatively powerful, fresh-minded, courageous, and dynamic. And as for everyone else, together, working hand in hand, we can build a brighter future. So why not start now? Well, thank you.